Hi, bro. Hello, mate. What are you doing? I just came in from school. Are you at work, mate? I'm on holiday. On holiday? Where? Mauritius. Again? What do you mean again? I've just been away, mate. When was it? Last month. So how are you teaching now and going on all these holidays? I was teaching, not anymore. I quit two years ago. Two years? What are you doing now, then? Life coaching kids. Why did you quit for? Why did... Oh, well, mate, I quit. Be wrong, I love teaching. It's just the admin, the workload, the toxic leadership. So stress. The bureaucracy, the report writing. Back to school anxiety. We were made to do two hours extra um, after school. We were, after we finished school... I can't get up, mate. Oh, there we go. After we finished school, we were made to do two hours of revision time for the year 11s. Eight? Hey? Yeah. Unbelievable. Please tell me you get paid extra for that. Unpaid as well. Mate, that's a joke. 100%. Oh, mate, I'd have to worry about that because I'm in primary, so I'd have to worry about the year 11s. How how did you get into it? Like, what did you do? How did you start? Because I love teaching, I just had to think, right, what can I do that's similar to teaching, but I don't have all that toxicity controlled by a school bell? You know, a school bell actually dictated to when I actually went to the toilet and stuff. Mate, literally, just like the picket line, they used to have a bell for when employees go for lunch. It's literally just creating worker bees, man. It's wild. Or when I was allowed to eat lunch. And lunch breaks were only like 10 minutes, if that, because we had to do all the marking and the planning. PPA was taken off me. Yeah, mate, I'm going through that now. They've just taken my PPA away from me. I've got to do duty. So I thought, well, I've coaching for kids, because obviously that's exactly what I'm doing in the classroom. Mate, it's funny you say that. So the year six today coming to me because he had so much anxiety getting on the football pitch for a football game. Um, and that's what it is, yeah. It's just literally... It, it's about helping the kid thrive yeah. on this planet, like giving them the confidence, resilience, emotional regulation, not what Shakespeare said 150 years ago. Do you know what I'm saying? Teaching them or coaching them something that's actually important, <laughs> like life, you know? Oh, mate, the education system's broken up. I literally feel like a fraud when I'm just sitting in front of the class just teaching them stuff they don't need in life, you know? Yeah, it's not good, mate. It's got worse. Yeah, it has, mate. But listen, I've got a go. I've got a mark 90 books now, literally three classes, 30 kids, 90 books, so... Yeah. No worries. Yeah, well, listen, if you've got any, like, tips about how I could do that, let me know, because I can't be here for much longer, mate. I genuinely feel so burnt out. But you can do it, mate. We just need a little bit of confidence and a little bit of direction. That's it. I'm in that 18-step video to teach me how to, you know, become a life coach for kids and take a step away from the education system. I'm going to need it, man. 100%. Cool. Cheers, dude. I better go. I've got to get these books marked before 10.30 tonight. I want to get some sleep. Catch a bit, dude. Bye-bye. See you later, mate.